This is question number seven. So if I wanted to write the inequality like you guys have for your homework quiz, if I wanted to write the inequality from here, there's a couple things I need to make sure I understand. One thing is I'm not taking the intersection of these two uh, graphs, right? These are two separate graphs. So therefore, that's going to automatically tell me I'm going to be using a, an or statement. Now the next thing is, remember, we're going to make circles that are, <clears throat> I'm sorry, our two given points are at negative 2 and 1. So I'm going to just write those down, negative 2 and 1. Now, for our equation to be true, we have to see, well, when does our graph make it true? Well, this says you can see all the values that are going to the left of negative 2 are making your inequality true. So I can say x has to be less than negative 2. So I'll write x, and I'm going to say it has to be less than negative 2. So what that means is all, the, all values that are less than negative 2 make it true. You can see that's where my arrow has been written. Or, so now if I have my 1 here, well this says all numbers that are greater than 1, right? X represents all numbers that are greater than 1. So we could say X is going to be all numbers that are greater than, but notice that my circle is also filled in. So therefore it's going to be all numbers that are greater than or equal to. Remember the difference. When it's filled in, it's greater, greater than or equal to, right? And if it's not filled in, it would just be, you know, greater than. Yes? What would you get on the test if you only put one? You forgot the other one. Okay. I mean, we'll talk about that. It'd probably be like an A, depending on what else, what you had to really test. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, make sure that we remember if it's an intersection, we're going to be dealing with and. However, when you have two different inequalities, Alex, you're going to be dealing with an or, or, okay? And then also, just, just state your two points, determine if it's shaded or not, if it's going to be a closed or an open dot, and then just determine where the arrow's going, okay? So here the arrows are going to the left, so I'm going to say x is less than, all right? Here the arrow is going to the right, that means all the values that are greater than, so I say x is greater than negative 1, okay? It's really important for you guys to be able to say it out loud to help you out. All right, that's it for that.